look at another way to add a Google Form to an assignment in Canvas. So in particular, we're looking at how to embed that Google Form so that the Google Form appears within that Canvas window instead of having to click on a link and it going outside to another tab for the student to complete and then having to come back to Canvas. So we're looking at how to embed it so it stays within that Canvas window. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my assignments and in the top right corner I'm going to click on assignment. Now I'm just going to create an example. We're just going to call this one example um, quiz. Okay. Now we've talked about making sure that in this box is where you put all of your steps and directions for your students because remember in an online environment they're not sitting in front of you for you to repeat the question the, the directions over and over again so be as clear and concise as you can with the steps they should follow maybe the rubrics or resources they should reference um, maybe examples of what they're turning in what it should kind of look like directions on submitting all those sorts of things. So pretend like in my example, there's a lot of information here, even though it's going to be blank, okay? So I just pretend like a detailed directions and everything, and then at the bottom would be your quiz or your survey or whatever it may be. So then I'm just going to say, complete this quiz below, okay? Now I'm going to go over to my example quiz. And I'm going to come up here to the top right corner and click where it says send. So when I click that, you see your mail, your little chain link. But remember that means the chain link means to get a link. And then you you see these little brackets. So these little brackets are for coding. Okay. So don't worry about the code and the amount of information you see here. You're just going to click the copy button. But think of those brackets as the code that's going to go in the background to embed that Google form into Canvas, okay? So link means I'm just giving a link and it's going to go outside of Canvas. These things that you don't usually see, this is for embedding, think coding, okay? I have to have something coded to have it embed into a page, okay? So embed, click copy and come back to Canvas. Now up here along the top, it's very convenient to see a link icon and then you just use the link you got from your form. There's not an embed icon. So to find the embed, you're actually gonna go over to this right here. It's record and upload media. So I'm gonna click that, upload and record media. And there it says embed. Now I can put in my embed code. Don't worry about it if you can't read it. It's just a code. And just like that, there is my Google Form. My silly Google Form about your favorite ice cream. <laughs> okay, so here it is within my Google, within my Canvas um, assignment. Now, the last thing that you have to make sure is done to make this really work well is to come down here where it says submission type and select no submission. The reason being, is when you set it as no submission, that means students don't have anything to turn in. But remember, where are they turning in this assignment? On the Google Form itself, okay? So with that in mind, some people then say, well then why would I use Canvas assignments? Why wouldn't I just put it on a page? Remember with assignments, that gives us the ability to get feedback, comments, grades, those sorts of things, okay? So you want to have, if this is something you want to give a grade to, you would want to put it in as an assignment, okay? If it's just a survey that you want to get feedback from your students, you could create a Google form and put that in your announcement. And so you can get the feedback for the announcement. That's not something you need graded. But if you do want it graded and you want to give that feedback, then you're going to use the assignment feature in Canvas. You can link or embed. In this example, we embedded because it's really great. The students complete it from within Canvas. They don't have to exit. 
and you're going to set it to no submission type so because they are submitting but on Google Forms, okay? If you have any questions at all, make sure you reach out to your ITF.